prove it. I like that. That's good. Welcome to another episode of Prover Brothers. Now, because of the popularity of our most recent video, we got tens, maybe six views, and we were deciding, you know what? This is a time for an investment. So, we bought a house. Now, if you look around, this is quite a nice one, and we hope that this will be the future headquarters for Prover Brothers Incorporated. This week on Prover Brothers, we are going to be teaching you guys how to make pancakes. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, we know how to make pancakes. Everyone does it. False. We're going to be teaching you how to make flaxseed pancakes. Healthy, nutritious, full of fiber, and flaxseed. Flax seeds. Uh, it's actually a Latin term, pancake, broken down into two. Panc, meaning bread, and aches meaning sweet, so. First, we start off with one cup of flour. Now, the term flour comes from the plant. Two tablespoons of white sugar. What we don't want is brown sugar because we don't want the pancakes to be too brown. The only difference is the color. So choose your color. You know, I like the whiter pancakes. Some people like darker pancakes. We're at a high altitude, so make sure you do a little less. Um, so I do about one and a half tablespoons because the sugar expands under the altitude, so. You wanna make sure to flambe the ingredients thoroughly so that they're mixed well and we don't have any air bubbles. All right, we're gonna have two teaspoons of baking powder. You could do eight quarter teaspoons or half of a four teaspoon, but uh, to be most accurate, just get exactly two teaspoons. What the salt does is it contradicts the sugar and it actually brings out um, the proteins. So the enzymes break down and we're gonna add a teaspoon of that. Uh, white salt, not brown salt. And it goes. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Perfect. Hey guys, so um, a lot of you guys want to make pancakes and you're like, oh my gosh, I have everything I need except eggs. Common thing to happen to all of us. But what most people don't realize is all you need is a bit of flaxseed and water and you got yourself an egg. Everyone's got this lying around in their house somewhere. 2.5 tablespoons of water. So this is how I measure. One. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Half it in. You're set. See, another reason why we can use flaxseed instead of egg is that we want to avoid using as many egg soles as possible because just to clear our continent. So what we're seeing here is um, that the bubbles are basically the oxygen being released from the enzymes in the flaxseed. And uh, it's actually taking uh, the protein from the flour and the sweetness from the salt and the saltiness from the sugar. And it's actually gonna combine it all into one big, um, what we call a component. Now, what we need is one cup of milk. Thankfully, we are able to find a perfect uh, little container with one pint of milk in it. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but one cup is actually the same as a pint because of the metric and imperial system overlap. Measure out the one cup from the one pint and it will empty the... Slow and steady wins the race, boys. The milk is actually the determining factor of how many pancakes. So if you want a lot of pancakes... More milk. A lot of people don't know this, but milk is actually the glue that holds this component together. And that's why I like to call it the white power drink. Now this is where most people really love the pancake. Um, you have to, you have to keep the air inside. And so you gotta fold it. And what you want, honestly, is in the middle, almost a mountain of flour with a moat of milk around it. What that does is you're going to ease the flour and the milk together from the outside. Now, we always say this, never infiltrate the tower of flour from the inside. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so what you wanna do is mix it until it's all homogenized, which means same-sex marriage. All right, so we're gonna heat our oven to 530 degrees and uh, put some oil in the pan. 
All right, and now we're just gonna do a simple design, the classic pancake smiley. So what you do is you just do a little drop. Uh, you determine how big for the eyes, like that perfect circle. And we go for the other side to get a nice other matching circle like that. And don't forget the uh, nice little smile. Make sure to give it, ah! So all I have to do is just connect the dots for the smile. All right, scissor me. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we want the, the eyes and the smiley features to be the darkest, so that's gonna go in first. As that browns, we're gonna start adding the rest of the details. So in goes the rest of the face. We're just gonna color it in real nice. See, for the smaller details, you want a smaller hole. For the bigger details, we're just gonna make sure the hole's a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna spread it out a little bit. Make sure not, let's give him some hair. Okay. Um, and we want all the little details. And then that's gonna be his chin and then his ears. At, at first glance, it doesn't look like a face, but I love the surprise of this. This is what I call surprise baking. And I love that when we flip it over later, which is gonna be in three seconds. It's just gonna be the coolest effect. Get our spatch. You guys ready for this? I'm so excited. All right. And so you gotta do it before you see the bubbles appear. So here we go. Hello, smiley face. <laughs> so that was fun. The next design, uh, I'm gonna do the world because I love it. Africa, America, Europe, and then all the way down here is London. This is my favorite part, filling in the oceans. Now before every use, you gotta clean off that little spatch. Nice. Now it's not gonna be perfect because we're not perfect. It's okay. Now that is proving just nicely. Let's go for this. Gotta get all the way around. Gotta... Around the world in 80 days. Oh, nice. <laughs> Baker's joke. All right. You ready? Ready. All, all right. right. All right, hello world. Well, since we just moved in, we actually, um, we actually forgot to buy forks and plates. Nope. Um, but we're gonna Try this out right here. So, uh, minor struggles, but that's okay because we have, we have some delicious, delicious pancakes. Mm. Mm. It's got a real nice color into it. Mm -hmm. I can taste the uh, milk. Yeah. And because I folded all that in, it retained its airiness. That's what we want. Well, until next. Oh, let's burn a hole in the carpet because oh. it's still hot. That's our deposit gun. We can't afford that. Someone's stealing my car.